the British have their own official standard of the perfect cup of tea. The British are serious about tea, so much so that British standards, which are a national body that produces technical specifications for products and services, which were released as an edict in 1980 on the official British guidelines for making the perfect cup of tea. Though some may disagree with the standard, the rules include the following. Use a propylene pot and a ratio of 2 grams of tea per every 100 milliliters of water. Brew for 6 minutes, maintain a temperature of 60 to 85 degrees Celsius, or in other words, 140 to 185 degrees Fahrenheit when serving the tea and add milk to the mug first if using the tea that has already been steeped. It is home to the largest seed storage facility in the world. Set amid of the frigid waters between Greenland and Norway is the Norwegian island of Svalbard. Here, the Norwegian government opened the Svalbard Global Seed Vault, which is the world's largest secure seed storage in 2008. This 10,764 square foot vault is buried almost entirely into the island's permafrost, which is only the concrete entrance is visible to the outside world, and only scientists and staff are allowed inside. The structure has the capacity to store 4.5 million different seed types and maintains them at constant temperatures of 37.4 to 39 0.2 degrees Fahrenheit. The collection is stashed here for safekeeping in case of core failures or natural disasters because of its naturally stable Arctic climate, and also since it's one of the least likely places on Earth to experience either flood or heat wave, both of which could damage the seeds. Around 80% of Australia's fauna and flora is unique to the country. Australia has some of the cutest, most interesting, and most venomous animals on the planet. In fact, thanks to its isolated island geography, over 80% of the country's plants and animals can only be found here. That includes the cuddly koalas, kangaroos, wallabies, and wombats that often feature high on tourists' bucket lists. Many tourists also hope to spot notoriously feasty Tasmanian Devil, the world's largest carnivorous marsupial, and the rainforest dwelling who has sound mimicking lyrebird. Meanwhile, other national animals strike fear into tourists. Australia has approximately 100 venomous snakes, 12 of which can cause fatalities. Kangaroos can flex. It's not just human guys that flex to impress ladies. Male kangaroos do it too. Male kangaroos use their arms to fend off rival mates. The kangaroos with larger biceps and showed them off were more often chosen by the female kangaroos. Sloths in the wild are much more active than we thought. Like most animals, sloths were easier to study in captivity than in the wild. This ended up giving us false ideas on the nature of wild sloths though. Sloths in captivity were found to sleep up to 15 to 16 hours per day and so we made the assumption that this applied to sloths in the wild as well. A study published in 2008 actually corrected this by a large measure. It turns out that wild sloths only sleep around 9 to 10 hours per day, just a few more than us. Raspberries are a member of the rose family. So are cherries, apricots, plums, pears, apples, quinces, peaches, strawberries, and blackberries. Unlike roses though, these types of fruits typically have flowers and five equal petals arranged around the central core. And just like roses, raspberries and blackberries have plenty of thorns too. Ouch, seriously? Why do airplanes use two-pronged headphones? With nothing much to do while you travel from here to there, you probably think of a bunch of questions during a flight, like why airplane windows are round, 
and why airplanes use two pronged headphone jacks. Most audio devices use a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. If you're crinkling your forehead in confusion right now, just think of all the devices you stick your headphones in. Your smartphone, game console, a portable DVD player among them. The exception is commercial airplanes. The reason airlines use two prong jacks, it still comes down to technology. The 3.5 millimeter jacks have three connections on the right, left, and bottom. But if one of these connections break, all the audio is lost. The true prong jacks are designed to keep functioning even if one of them breaks. Why is denim blue? Have you ever wondered why most denim is a shade of blue? The color blue was chosen for denim because of the chemical properties of blue dye. Most dyes will permeate fabric in hot temperatures, making the color stick. But the natural indigo dye used on denim only stuck to the outside of the threads. The more indigo dye denim gets washed, the more color fades and the threads loosen, making them feel worn in. People love the softness of well-worn jeans and they quickly gain popularity. Why do we wear wedding rings on our fourth finger? The traditions of wearing a wedding band on our fourth finger on your left hand dates back to the ancient Egypt. Egyptians saw wedding bands as a symbol of eternity and believed there was a delicate nerve that ran from being their ring finger all the way to the heart. We know that the heart is an organ for pumping blood, but back then they believed it was the center of our emotions. Ancient Greeks and Romans followed a similar tradition and passed on the wedding band finger to us. Why does a bunny deliver eggs at Easter? The Easter bunny is probably a throwback to an ancient Anglo-Saxon myth about the fertility goddess Ostera. As religion scholar Caddy Edwards writes in the conversation, folklorists say that Ostera changed a bird into a rabbit, which went on the lay-colored eggs that she presented to children as gifts. It is unclear how the myth was co-opted by Christians, but the first mentioned in late 16th century German texts and German Lutherans brought the Easter Bunny with them to the United States in the 18th century. Why do car windows have little black dots? The little black dots on your car's windshield and windows and the black rims that surround them aren't just there for decoration. The dots date all the way back to the 50s when car manufacturers used adhesive to hold car windows in place rather than metal trim. The black trim around the windows which are called the fritz and the black dots are painted onto the glass to hide not the very appealing look of adhesive. The rims are actually baked into the window, so they hold the glue and window in place. The dots serve as an aesthetically pleasing transition from the thin black line to the transparent window. They aren't just there to look nice though. They help provide temperature control when the glass is a bend to fit into the frame of the windshield. It's heated up. The black painted glass heats up faster than the rest, and the dots to distribute heat more evenly and keep the glass from wrapping